Hello, my name is Vanessa. Welcome to Ortho Refresh. This video will review how to place a dorsal blocking hand splint. This is important when there is a laceration in the palm or volar finger and there's concern for a flexor tendon injury. Enjoy. A ready-made splint, scissors, two inch padding, tape, and three inch elastic bandage. Tear off some pieces of tape so they are within reach at the end of the splint. Then open the elastic bandage. Some packages have a red dotted line in the middle. Twist to open the plastic. It's much easier to take off. I recommend taking those sharp clips and throwing them in the garbage. They tend to hurt people. To begin, position the patient in a comfortable seated position. This could be at a desk with the arm resting on the tabletop or on top of a gurney or exam table with pillows under the arm for support. Start by placing padding between the fingers. Since all of the fingers will be included in this splint, we need padding between the four main fingers. To position the patient, we keep the fingers in slight flexion. Try to keep the wrist in neutral. I'm really forcing the patient here because he doesn't have an injury, but most patients with a laceration will be more comfortable with those fingers in slight flexion. Wrapping around the hand, tearing through the first web space, and then working up and around the fingers. Go around and around at the ends of the fingers. I could have gone a little more distal here, but it'll work. Tear again through that first web space. Work your way proximally. Overlap by 50%, so we have two layers of padding for most of the hand and wrist. There's a little bit more padding in the palm, as that's where the injury is. You will also have used some non-stick gauze over the laceration to keep this padding from sticking. Notice I'm, I don't want to have any tension in the padding, so just lay down that padding as you go around, and at the proximal end, go around and around several times so there's good padding at the edge where the splint may rub. Now measure the splint on the dorsal hand and forearm, going from the fingertips all the way to the proximal edge just inside the padding. Very important to pull the edges of the padding over the fiberglass at both ends before you get it wet. Get the splint wet, use room temperature to cold water which will help it set up fast, wring out as much water as possible. Place the splint in a towel. Fold the towel over the splint and wring out as much water as possible. I call this the burrito trick. Holding the elastic bandage in my left hand, I unroll it a little, and about four to five inches in, I make a cut. This will go in the first web space. Now taking the elastic bandage where you just cut and place that in the first web space. We're going to begin to wrap around all of the fingers in the splint using about 50% tension in the elastic bandage. This is not the prettiest looking splint, but it's going to keep the fingers in slight flexion with that volar or palmar laceration where there may be tendon injury. Continue to wrap proximally, overlap by about 50%. We should only need one ace wrap for this short arm splint. Use tape to secure. Maybe use the patient to help hold the elastic bandage while you get your tape. They're usually pretty helpful. You can also use additional tape around the distal edge of the splint to hold all the corners and edges of the elastic bandage in place. I call this tape art. This is the final dorsal blocking splint. Then go over the three main rules with the patient regarding splint care. Here are those three rules. In addition to these rules, I encourage the patient to keep the hand elevated to the level of heart or higher as much as possible and use an ice or cold pack in the armpit. All right, thanks for watching. I hope that video was helpful for you. If you are interested in seeing more, please hit subscribe. Ortho Refresh wants to be a tool in your tool belt as you care for patients. If you have any questions, please leave those below. We will get back to you as soon as we can. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Ortho Refresh is on Instagram and Facebook. Please check us out there. 
We want to have an interactive conversation. We want to know what do you need to hear about? What do you want to be refreshed on? Ortho Refresh aims to provide continuing orthopedic education at your fingertips. Thanks for watching.